हेलो एम आई हेलो ऑडिबल ताई यस सर या ओके ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ अ प्रेयर या कुंदेन्दु तुषार हार धवला या शुभ्र वस्त्र वृता या वीना वर दंड मंडित करा या श्वेत पद्मासना या ब्रह्माच्युत शंकर प्रभुति भीर देवै सदा वंदिता सामापातु सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जाड्य पहा Is my screen visible, Tai? Yes. Should we start? Yeah. So, in our last Kushpa, okay, see, we have seen the multiplication for the numbers, which is above the base. multiplication of large numbers okay we have also studied the vertically and crosswise and uh, proportionate base means how to make a base proportionate and then do the multiplication we will revise it and then we will study the today's uh, thing yeah so in a proportionate base we have seen that if the problem is 213 into 203 Okay, we take base as two hundred, so which is nothing but two into hundred. So two hundred and thirteen base is two hundred, so it is above thirty by thirteen. So we write plus thirteen plus three. Then two hundred and thirteen plus three is two hundred and sixteen. Thirteen threes are thirty-nine. Yeah, only because we have made the uh, base proportionate by two, so. we will apply that proportion on the left part that is a 216 so 216 into 2 it is 432 yeah obviously 2 to the 4 2 1 the 2 6 to the 12 1 get to the next level or next digit that is 432 so final answer is 43239 only thing this original base has 20 so we have two zeros on, sorry two digits on the right hand side so then we don't need to do any changes yeah is this clear yeah yes yeah okay should move to the next b vertically and crosswise okay so 23 into 41 okay so 23 into 41 so we do vertically first 4 to the 8 Then we do the crosswise two 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 one the two four three the twelve twelve plus two is fourteen three one the three three yeah so three as it is four as it is one goes to the next eight plus one nine so answer is nine four three clear very easy yeah two one the So two four two is eight two one is two four three is twelve so fourteen plus two is sorry twelve plus two is fourteen three one is three three as it is four as it is one goes to the next so answer is nine four three yeah done we learn for the three digit the uh, steps are only five because the how many steps can be calculated number of digits say n into n then steps are Two n minus one. Okay, so five zero four three two one. The steps is five three is a fifteen. Then first two digit three zero zero five two is a ten. So ten plus zero is ten. Five one is a four three is a four three is a twelve. Five 
फर्स्ट वर्टिकली And two into zero, two into zero, so two into zero is zero. So the answer is that five plus twelve plus zero. Okay, so answer is seventeen. Is this clear? Third step. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So four as it is, eight as it is, seven as it is. One move to the next. Ten plus one is seventeen, and sorry, ten plus one is eleven. One move to the next. Fifteen plus one is sixteen. रंगोली डॉटेड रंगोली सो फॉर थ्री डिजिट हाउ इट विल लुक लाइक सपोज आई टेक थ्री डॉट्स अब थ्री डॉट्स बी लो okay so first two dots connected then crosswise okay see the pattern crosswise then extreme numbers cross and middle number vertical so crosswise and vertical urdhva tirya bhyam then ignore because we have already taken first two dots so next two dots okay and then the next is only vertical okay so this is the way we should be calculating it clear okay now try to solve this on your do you have paper and pencil or paper and pencil yes, yes, yes. yeah solve this 121 and 131 and tell me the One, steps 131 yeah 1 one, ones are 1 yeah 1 into 3 2 into 1, into one. so answer is 5 5 yeah. Yeah, one into one, one into one makes two, and three to the six. Six plus two is eight. Yeah, then two into one, one into three. Okay, so three plus two is five. Right, one into one is one. One into one is one. Answer is one fifty eight fifty one. Okay. Yes. Solve next one twenty one three one three. One twenty one. Three one three. Three one the three. Three one the three. Three one the three. Three two the six. Six plus uh, six plus one is seven. So seven. One into three. One into three. And two into one. So three plus three plus two. So eight. Yeah. Two into three six. Okay, one into one, six plus one, seven. Three one the three. Three two one the seven. It's not. And then it's seven two one. Three seven seven.
Yeah. If you put it, write it the vertically one after uh, one, um, one below and one above, then it like to visualize it is easier. If you if you write it horizontally, it is little bit difficult to visualize, but it is it is okay. Yeah. Clear? Are you able to get the answer? Three seventy eight seventy three. Three seventy eight seventy three. Three seven eight seven three. Make it change. If not, I will solve it. Yes, got it. Yeah, clear. Will you be able to solve any three digits into three digits now? Same logic, same steps. Yeah. Should I move to next slide, uh, Tai? Yes, sir. Okay. For me, it's okay. Others, I do. Others, uh, are you okay? Please yes. say it. If not, I will explain again if required. No, I got it. I got it. Got it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Now, square. Okay. So, uh, square is an... Uh, what is square? Square is a multiplication of thyself, means multiply the same number with itself. Okay, suppose if I have to take a square of a, a, a number which are ending with a 5, we are going to see first the specific or uh, the special cases and then we are going to go for a general uh, squaring system. Yeah, say for example, if I have to get a square of number which are end with 5, those are very simple. It is again using the Ekadiken Purven, means take the number next okay. to the 2. What is the next number of 2? 3. Yeah? Six. So 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 3 to the 6. Six. Yeah? And just 5, five into 5, 25. Just write that. Yeah? 6, uh -huh. 25. Okay. 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 Suppose if the number is 35, how we will write? Now, what is the next number of 3? 4. 4, 3 is a 12. 5, 5 is a 25. So, 12, 25. Clear? 4, 3 is a 5. Okay. I will explain again. So, if the number ending with a 5, how we will do it? We will take the first digit to take the next number of it. So, 2, next number of 2 is 3. Multiply by with 2. 2, two 3, is, 3 is a 6. Yeah? And 5 into 5, 25. Answer is 625. But this rule is only applicable to find the square of a number which ends with 5. Yeah? Clear? Yeah. For example, 75. Can anyone tell me the square of 75? 75. 5625. Yes, correct. Okay. 8, 7 is 56. So, 5, 6, 2, 5. Perfect. Yeah. So, orally you can get the uh, square uh, in a very easiest way. Okay. Now, second special case. Square of a numbers which are near the base. Base is what? 10, 100, 1000. Those are called the bases. Suppose, if the number is 98, how we can do it? Just... Find a difference from its base. Base is 100. Because it has two digits, so base has two zeros. So 100 minus 98 is 2. Okay, find a deficiency. Then only subtract 2 from 98. 98 minus 2. Answer is 6. 96. Yeah. Then whatever the difference, 2, just multiply 2 into 2. 
2 to the 4. But our base is 100, so we need a 2 digits on the right. That's why I put a 0. Okay, so 0, 4. It is same as the base multiplication we learn, only we are doing it in a single line. Yeah. It is like a 98 into 98. Yeah. Clear? Hmm. Very simple. Just subtract the difference between the base from the whole digit, 98 minus 2. Put it that as it is. Whatever the difference, calculate the difference. Multiply by itself. Calculate the second part of it. That is 0, 4. Why 0, 4? Because our base is 100. So two zeros on it. That's why I'm writing 0, 4 without changing the value of 4. Yeah? Clear? Can anyone tell me the square of 97? 97. 9409. Nine. Perfect. 9409. Nine. Yeah? Well done. Yeah? Okay. Same logic goes to the number above the base. Yeah? 1012. So it is above 12. So I simply add 1012 plus 12. So 1024. Clear? And 12 twelves are. 12 twelves are. Again, I use the same technique again to do a repetitive, but normally we know the square of 12, that is 144. Or 12 is 12 into 12. So difference is plus 2. So 12 plus 2 is 14. Yeah? And 2 to the 4. Yeah. So final answer is 1024144. Is this some clear? Or if you want to do it, do it on a pen your pen and pencil. Yeah. One zero one two. So I simply add one two into one two. So it makes one zero two four. And I simply multiply twelve into twelve. So it becomes one four four. So final square of 1012 is 1024144. Yeah. Can you tell me the square of 104? 104. 108016. No, not 016 because base is 100. So base has only oh, two sorry. zeros. So on the right yeah, hand yeah, side, yeah. we will yeah. only need 16. Yeah, agreed. Sorry. Yeah. One zero eight. No, that's fine. You are doing it well. Yeah. Okay. Tell me next. I'm just putting some numbers. Okay. One zero one one. One zero one one. Perfect. Perfect. Hmm? Is this clear to everyone else? If not, feel free to ask. Yeah, I will explain again and again. No issue. Yeah, we are seeing a square of a specific cases. Specific cases means our first case is, which is the number ending with 5. All the numbers that ends with 5. Okay, suppose 105, how I will do it? What is the next digit of 10? 11. So 10 into 11 is 110. So answer is 110, 25. So 105 square is 110, 25. Clear? What is the next technique specific thing? Which is the square of a number which are near to the base. Maybe above or little below. Okay, but not far away from the base. Yeah? Means we are not going to use this technique for a number, say, 74 or 72. No. We are going to use it only very near to the, by one or two digit or three digit, four digit, where we can do it orally, we will use this technique. For other numbers, there is a general technique that we are going to learn now. Yeah. Should I move to the next general technique? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no. See, uh, general technique, I think we will cover in the next class. Uh, I have put it in the next class. Okay. That is called duplexes and how to use the duplexes to find the square of any number in this world. Uh, uh, you can find a square orally 
as well as you can do the squaring of any uh, uh, any by uh, any um, open or uh, or any number or any algebraic number which is combination of letter and number as well that we will do learn it in the next class but before that today i am interested in telling a story of one of the great indian mathematician okay and one should be aware of his history okay his name is narayan pandit okay he was born in bengal uh, in the 1325 to 1400 okay okay so it is more than now 700 years okay 600 years plus yeah or more than that yeah so his name his father name was narsimha okay and he was a great mathematician and in that particular era or that century he wrote a three main treatises or main three main granth on the mathematics that is called mathematics kamudi vatatsma okay or bijaganit vatatsma okay algebra okay, I, i put just conversion as algebra but the original was bijaganit vatatsma and karma pradipika these were the three important treatises or the granthas were written originally in sanskrit and the explanations of the various mathematical techniques in india so what are his main contribution in the world of mathematics we learn the square identities square identities are a plus b square is equal to a minus b square plus 4ab okay so such kind of an square identities were first discovered by narayan pandit yeah and also the techniques of indeterminate equation okay indeterminate equations okay we we'll, uh, those who learn the engineering mathematics or the higher mathematics element 12 standard onwards those who are aware of indeterminate equations and the indeterminate equations were originally discovered by the narayan pandit also the pales equations magic square he has made a greater contribution in that so solving the pales equation is also treated as an expertise in the world of mathematics even today so those equations were initially explained in india in 1325 or in that uh, century or 13 or 14th century if we call it his work is so like very important in the world of not only mathematics but in the programming languages as well all the c uh, c and c++ programming languages currently used or which was discovered by straustrup uh, uh, was used narayan pandit's original mathematics okay so to create the original structures the compilers and all other things was based on the narayan pandit's work okay very few people are aware of this thing uh, so what i wanted to convey here that indian mathematicians has a great tradition or we have a great history of indian mathematicians from the even 4th century or 4th bc till now so every century or every uh, not only century every decade i must say there was one mathematician great mathematician was given Uh, or every century every one a mathem great mathematician was born in india and we are very we are not even aware of those things like say for example i think last to last lecture i explained about the lcm concept of lcm and it was yes. discovered in india so one should be not only proud about what we have discovered but we should not be forgetting this particular mathematical contributions by our own ancestors and all our own great mathematics and we should study those we should study his own granthas like kamodis vatatsma karma pradipika only the problem is that the people who are aware of sanskrit don't know mathematics okay and sometimes who knows mathematics are not literate in sanskrit so those things are uh, getting um, uh, ignored okay and it's unfortunate for india that so many of those granthas so many of those texts so many of those uh, scripts are lying in the foreign universities not even in the india some of the treatises some of the 
sutras or sut like form like things i have found it in america some i found it in europe okay some found in oxford some in the microsoft library some in the other library okay but we are unfortunate that we are not even aware of our great tradition okay we are not even learning those we are not even you know, it is not even made aware in our school syllabus that okay this is who discovered the the square identities okay it was a narayan pandit okay so my we should be giving a, a like we should be thankful to our great indian mathematicians for such a great discovery as i say earlier as well that uh, even I'll, like integ uh, higher mathematics like integration derivatives calculus was discovered in india and main contribution was made by the kerala or keralian mathematics there was a great tradition of jain mathematics mathematics in india as well so one should not one should study those okay and one should also use those techniques in our day to day life okay because those are very important discoveries and those are very useful discoveries for our life okay so just wanted to convey this great story or the great mathematician narayan pandit to all of you if you really uh, find it somewhere articles some reading material feel free to study okay and feel free to uh, convey this to our all our people around you that okay this is what who discovered it and how they have discovered it yeah okay so today i want you to talk about one more sanskrit subhashit that is uh, apart from what we learned today in mathematics that dhruti shama damostayam saucamandriya nigraha dhiri vidya satyam krodho dasham dashakam dharma lakshanam means what the 10 signs of dharma are temperness okay forgiveness controlled mind never be stealing cleanliness control of senses wisdom okay education and honesty yeah and never getting angry okay this is a very important concept why one should not be getting angry okay because uh, in in gita shlok one it is mentioned that once you get an angry you lose your buddhi okay you lose uh, the ability to find it out what is right and what is wrong okay correct yeah so and what is the main core reason of getting angry is that the kama or the desire okay desire is the uh, kam is the main reason for for one get angry okay or the asakti okay that it is against my mind or uh, uh, someone is not performing doing or acting okay which is not in as per my wish or will okay so people get angry and it's all because of the asakti and desire so i just wanted to convey one story here of sant eknath uh, sant eknath was a saint from python or, or from maharashtra region and uh, there was uh, he was well known that he never get angry okay and his wife is also like that both the couple never ever get angry no matter what happens so there was one uh, poor fellow a poor poor bhiksha bhikshakari he went to the city and he went to the some people who were sitting on the uh, tree or below the tree and they were just talking about that and they said okay you bet with me okay if i can make the santa eknath angry you will give me the say 2 rupees or 10 rupees that type whatever it may be the sum and they said yes okay we will give you money if you able to make him angry so he went to his house and uh, there were a time of Uh, uh, lunch. It was a lunch time, so Eknath greeted him, welcomed him, and it was a tradition in India. So, if the guest comes in our house, we should feed him. Okay, we should treat him like a god. So Eknath ji asked him to sit, uh, ha like wash his feet and hand, and offered him a food. So while serving the food, his wife was serving the food. so he was eating everything he was saying oh this was not right this was that is 
salty that is very sweet i don't like it and all all such nonsense he was trying to say by uttering the then, words so that ekna ji and his wife will get angry but they were okay that's fine they remove that sabji and they, they remove that particular uh, thing and served him something else but they never got angry okay so even after trying for many uh, many uh, many things they yes, both yes. of were not getting angry at all so that bhikshakari was very thin and he simply jump okay and simply jump on the seat on the back of that uh, serving wife okay and seeing that at least he thought that eknath will get angry okay because he is sitting on the back of his wife uh, or jumping on the uh, sitting on back of his wife and so eknath will get angry and wife will also get angry so ek ji simply asked the wife are you okay so she said yes i am very much okay because i am used to carry my children on my back and do my housework so it doesn't mind at all so uh, swami it is okay with me okay and she served the entire people who were who were there but never got angry and that bhikshakaru was uh, so ashamed of his action he just went to the feet of ek and say i'm so sorry uh, I, i behaved this way and now i agree that why you have controlled your anger because you are most you have achieved the dharma okay because you are you never get in angry so this is one of the sign of the 10 signs of the dharma okay the word dharma it's not a religion in the sense of hindu muslim christian dharma is the way of our acharan or how we perform our duties or how we live our day to day work okay so dharma shouldn't be confused with the, the word dharma shouldn't be confused with the word religion okay dharma is the come with a dhatu dhi or dha okay which is the qualities of a person okay one should acquire to live a great life in this world okay so this is the definition of dharma and what are the qualities of dharma was explained in in this great subhashit yeah. sorry <laughs> just wanted i love subhashita so i just wanted to tell about no. those wisdom Good for it sir addition for our knowledge sir yeah yes they are the source of great knowledge they are the source of great knowledge yeah, yeah. okay i hope you liked it uh, okay so now the question answers uh, is there any uh, questions or the uh, anything which is not clear today about the square of a two in number ending 25 or the base near and the three digit uh, vertical crosswise this is what the two important thing i wanted to learn or teach today yeah so i have given few homework for all of you that is a homework to do a three digit multiplication and the squaring of a numbers that are ending with a five as well as which is above or near the base i will put that in our group so that you can solve this homework i have again a request to all of you please do your homework regularly and study it regularly otherwise you will forget all those things uh, uh, as we progress to the next and higher and higher level of an mathematics yeah Uh, so is the today's uh, thing clear about how to do vertically crosswise for three digit yes sir yeah understand the pattern and you will be able to do the solve the mathematics okay that is what even uh, great mathematicians always say understand the pattern okay so those who are able to do the dotted rangoli should be able to do any multiplication okay and same logic goes with a four digit five digit six digits and number of digits okay it just the pattern if you draw a pyramid on your notebook notepad you will understand it's the same technique okay for uh, two digit number three digit number four digit number five digit into five digit six digit into six digit logic never change okay clear is the logic clear about vertical and crosswise this is just a one application of this sutra 
I will teach as we go along how it will be useful in geometry, how it will be useful in other parts of mathematics. I'm just wanting to introduce the sutra because every sutra is so immense or so in depth that Swamiji has originally written one separate grantha on each sutra. Okay, and it has profound applications on other parts of mathematics as well. Okay. It's not only useful for the multiplication, it has so much of other usage as well. Okay. But we need to understand how what is that sutra and how to use it. Yeah. Clear? Is the Urdhva Tiriyagyam clear? Yes, sir. Any other questions, doubt that I need to explain? Feel free to ask. Yeah. Is the square initial part clear? Because next class I am going to cover the generalized uh, uh, squaring system for any number, from single digit to n digit number. You can you will be able to do your square on your own. Okay, without even using a calculator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if it is, if you are all are okay, uh, any questions first? So we will stop if there are no questions today. Yeah. Have a nice weekend, all of you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Oh, mm -hmm.